Hey guys, Anna Kruger here with Mastering Inside Sales. And today we're gonna have a little fireside chat story time. And I hope what I share encourages you as you walk into 2023. All right, so what I wanna share with you is really about a time in life that was pretty dark that led me to where I am today. And I'm sharing this because a lot of you have told me I'm confused about what I'm supposed to be doing with my life, or you might just be in a really difficult season that makes no sense to you. So I hope that this encourages you today. So in 2008, I had already been in sales for two years and my mom was diagnosed with cancer. Now for us, it's just me and my mom. So we're super close. And that also meant she didn't have a husband or other children to take care of her. She was given six months maximum to live. So I made the decision to move home and take care of her in Charlotte, North Carolina. I didn't know anyone there. She moved there while I was in college. So I didn't know anyone in Charlotte and I didn't have a support system. So I moved home with her. I'm working from home as an extrovert and I'm selling things over the phone when I know that deep down inside, I have the heart of a teacher. Those were some dark times, let me tell you. The only time I left the house is Friday night to paint pottery. And other than that, I was at home taking care of my mom and selling things over the phone for my job. It was definitely a season of life where I felt like life is totally off track. Nothing made sense to me. And I remember thinking, God, I know that you made me with the heart of a teacher. Why am I working from home selling things over the phone? This doesn't make sense to me. Yet at the same time, I knew that was exactly where I was supposed to be. My boss let me work from home and nobody was able to do that in 2008. And I'm able to take care of my mom. So I knew I was where I was supposed to be Yet at the same time, as I looked at it, I felt like life was totally off track. I described it as it was almost like I was on a racetrack with other people my age and I fell down and everyone else kept moving. That's how I felt inside. And so I really just thought life's off track, but I know that this is where I'm supposed to be. And I really just decided I'm gonna pray and do the next right thing. Now it wasn't always that easy. I definitely had some difficult conversations with God Um, I had a lot of anger that I had to work through. So I don't want to paint this picture that it was a beautiful, just trusting time. I definitely had a hard time and asked a lot of hard questions. All right. And during this time, I knew that I was where I was supposed to be. yet I wasn't quite sure why I was there doing what I was doing. I knew I was there to take care of my mom, but I didn't understand why I was in the job that I was in. Well, I ended up doing that from 2008 to 2013, which is when I got into real estate. And as I look at that, I realized I gathered up over 11,000 hours of phone sales experience during that season of life, this time where I was questioning, why does God have me here? And we all know it takes 10,000 hours to get to mastery. So essentially, it's almost like God put me in a place and he knows me enough to know I'll move. Uh, I'm pretty proactive about making things happen. So I felt like it was almost like he said, I'm going to put you in this job. I'm going to put you in this town. And then through your circumstances, I'm gonna put a lid over you to keep you from moving because I need you to learn a skill, which was the skill of inside sales. Well, fast forward, I think you guys know how this story goes. (laughs) I ended up in real estate in 2013, realized no one at the time was teaching inside sales. It was really a new role in the industry, which gave me the opportunity to put all of those years of experience to work and create this program that many of you have now been involved in. And the thing is, Now that I look back, that season of life makes so much sense. It was like God was saying, I need you to learn a skill. So I'm going to force you to sit still and learn it through some difficult circumstances. But I'm setting you up for a future that is better than anything you can imagine. If you had told me just 10 years ago, yes, 10 years ago, I was not yet in real estate and had no idea what was to come. If you had told me that 10 years ago, I would get to travel. I would get to speak and teach and I would get to teach webinars from home and I would have the honor and privilege to talk with many of you one-on-one about your businesses and about your life. I would not have believed you. I did not see how my current circumstances would lead to that future. However, looking back, it makes total sense. So I want to encourage each one of you listening to this, whether it be something maybe in your marriage, maybe in your business life, your personal life, something with your kids. I really want to encourage you if you're in a difficult season, Just pray and do the next right thing. And I say just, it's not that easy, right? It takes a lot of faith and a lot of trust. Yet I would encourage you to step out in faith and pray and then do the next thing that God shows you to do. 
and it can lead you to some beautiful places. Not without some hard bumps along the way, uh, but it can definitely lead you to something better than you can imagine right now. And what I will tell you is the hard times make the good times that much sweeter. So I am thankful for those hard years. Even though I wish my mom had not gotten sick, I can truly say I'm thankful for the things that those years taught me. And now it, it truly does make the good times now that much sweeter. All that to say, I am so thankful for each one of you. I wouldn't get to do what I love if I didn't have an audience, if I didn't have people taking my classes, if I didn't have people inviting me to come and speak. So I wanna express my sincerest gratitude to each one of you. I don't know how to convey this in a video, but I want you to know how much I appreciate you, your trust in me and the honor of bringing me into your team or into your life to speak. I do not take that lightly. And I know that that's a huge honor and a huge responsibility. So thank you to each one of you. And I hope that this encourages you as you walk into 2023. So my motto in life has become pray and do the next right thing. And I would encourage you to do the same. All right, guys, well, I will see you in 2023. I can't believe it. See you in January.